when I was in, uh, oh my God, in the third grade, I had a little gay experience. You could say I had, I went to a classroom and then I met with some guy and we went to the bathroom and it was like kind of show and tell. <laughs> you show and I tell something like that. So that's, that was like the first time, not that I realized that I was gay, but I realized that I was like attracted to, to him and you know, I was attracted to men, I guess, or you know, guys. I first had suspicions when I was in sixth or seventh grade and I was like, you know, my feelings for guys are kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but I did have a girlfriend the first part of my sophomore year, and then that didn't work. I kind of like just I was like, okay, you know, I must be gay. I I kind of grew into this depression almost, low self-esteem. I got really really fat. I was like 240 pounds, and it was just um, ah, I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, well, I was raised Roman Catholic. Um, and so I always had that church influence, plus all the guilt that comes with being Catholic. You know what? Yeah, I might be a Republican. They can count my vote as a Republican, but it doesn't always mean I'm going to vote Republican. Aside from all the meetings and all the get-togethers that we have, we also have to fulfill our community service project. Um, our community service project, which is our philanthropy, is uh, doing the Eight Walk. Now, the Eight Walk raises money for a nonprofit organization called Care Resources. Uh, they help people who can't afford uh, <laughs> medications or pay doctors uh, for, the, for the people that have HIV and AIDS. <laughs> Now, the first year that we did the eighth walk, we raised about $400. Now, the second year, we did about double that. We almost did $1,000 that we raised. And this is us trying to get a picture together after all the walk that we did and the sweat. We also participated in World AIDS Day. We partnered with another fraternity, and we had made a banner with a red ribbon and had everybody walked in and signed. We're passing out free condoms and free brochures. Try to put a condom on. Step number one, make sure you have an erection. <laughs> Does it really say that? Step number two, open the wrapper. Number three. Do you know if Christina Aguilera's dirty is her cover? No. No. Is dirty? Not really. It is. Nick, I, I already said it. It's the same exact it song. Is. It is. Is that guy? Mm -hmm. it, no, no, but it is the same song. What? She did it. Yeah, she, yeah. I yeah, was like, oh my god. Cover. I guess you could describe it as cover. Just don't. Couldn't believe it. Just Maybe everything. Christina Aguilera's ever did. She copied someone. Oh, oh, oh. Just a beat. <laughs> my name is Manny. I'm 19 years old. I am a Cuban American. I was born in Miami, Florida. My parents are Cuban by plane, not by raft. And oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I found out about this fraternity through an email. It like, caught my attention. It said, gay fraternity. So I'm like, hmm, let me open it. So I open it and I start reading it. And I really don't want to go to the meeting by myself. So I called up my best friend Eric. Five, six years ago? Eric, I met you freshman year. That's what yeah. I And then Eric and, and the I drama that really, ensued. really, really, <laughs> really close friends. And then I sensed some gayism in Eric. <laughs> so and I made the initiative and said something. something. And he told me he was a big flaming queen. Yeah, shut up. And then I told him I was gay. <laughs> I was the only person that was out at my high school. There were 2,200 people at my high school. So it was interesting because I became the token gay kid, you know? And I kind of played into that. And looking back on it, I can see that. I would, I did things that were gayer than myself. I'm not out to my dad, but the reason that I'm not out to my dad is because he and I had a very bad relationship. Uh, uh, and I finally told her, and she's like, you know, she's like, one of the first things she said is, are you sure? Just not, not very threatening, just, and I was like, yeah, I think so. And she's like, okay. 
I did. I was talking to my dad when I came out, and he is a he's a psychologist, marriage and family therapist, and a child psychologist, and he he took it okay. Um, he's 100% Italian. My dad's side of the family is Italian, and so there's kind of like a lot of religion, social, ethnic is issues going on there. That I think it was kind of like my son's gay, my only son type of thing. The time I saw my father was when I gave him my graduation invitation and I hand delivered it to his office because I didn't want there to be any confusion and that's what I said. I walked into his office and I said here's my graduation invitation I just want there to be no confusion that you got it and he said I'm not coming and that was the last time I talked to my father so. In junior year I was very 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 depressed and I was making plans to like run away and to like do all these things and my dad found all this like information that I got and like Greyhound bus tickets to New York City and all this like retarded stuff that I was like gonna be Madonna and I was gonna go take me to the middle of, of everything. And I was just gonna leave my life and just, you know, follow my dream and all this like retarded stuff. And then he asked me why and then I'm just like, I have a lot going on in my life or whatever. And then he asked me if I was gay. And I said, yes. And from that moment on, he's been accepting of it. And he told me, you're my son no matter what. I love you to death. And then he told my mom and then my mom told me that she accepts me and that she loves me and, this, and that everything's going to just be fine. Now, everyone's image on fraternity is just party, party, party. We didn't do that. We did a little bit, but it wasn't most of it. We had to go to meetings. We had to build our own constitution. We had, we, t we talked about serious Serious things. This is a reminder, if you abstain from a vote, that means count, it's counted in the negative. And if you're silent, that means that you consent to everyone else's opinion. We're going to do it in an orderly way. We're going to bring up the Rashi and then we're going to go one by one. If you have any comments, please address them at that moment. And then after the comments are done, we'll go ahead and take our vote. Because you're confusing everyone. I know. Some people know what I'm saying. Oh, oh, no, 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 that's a class. Yeah, that's a class. class. Yeah, it's chosen. Delta class is done. So we are going to initiate Delta class the in class. the next okay, two okay, weeks. Okay, uh -huh. And then what's what, 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 after Delta class? You guys, what uh -huh. you are planning on doing, from what I got from your e-board meeting, which you should not have been in, which you should not, which have, you been. Should not have been. Hey, sure, I right. was on time to your my meeting. You guys were late finishing yours, so I don't. Here. Fundraising. We have a point to make. Fundraising. Max talks about fundraising. John Carlo brings up his idea. Mikey doesn't like his yeah. idea. Gus doesn't like the idea. Richard talks about the idea. Ron talks about the idea. I say about the idea. Then he has to explain the idea all over again because none of them got it again because he like, complicated it. And then Ron has a question to do. And then... Other in favor? Raise your hands. Keep them up. 